All right, so I have been saying for a couple of months now that I believe the best budget vlogging setup is the Canon SL2 with the two lens Canon E creator kit, whatever whatever that thing is called. But to be honest, I hadn't like personally used it mm, for vlogging. I've used the bits and pieces for, for different things, but that all changes today. We're gonna make a vlog reviewing what I believe to be the best vlogging rig. Let's do that. All right, so this actually all came around from an email from uh, Mel, the manager at the local Don's Photo, saying, I could lend you one if you wanted to try it out. And I was like, yes, please. Thanks, Mel and Don's Photo. If you're not familiar with this, this is the Canon SL2. It is Canon's entry-level DSLR camera. It's really light, and we're gonna talk about what makes it such actually a good vlogging camera. And then this is a two-lens kit that Canon has packaged here with a ultra-wide angle lens and a more like zoomy, good and low light blurry background kind of lens. And we'll go through all this once we get out of my office, which is the plan here, but I just have to charge the battery. It's charging. If you didn't, okay. Truth be told, I already opened this. I pulled the battery out, put it on the charger, okay? The whole bag walking in from the store scene was fake. I'm sorry. The rest of this review, though, is not being paid by anybody for any reason. I just made it because I, I wanna try this out. So let's grab this stuff and mix it with, I mean, just my tripod, a microphone we put on top of it and this, and let's go out and make a vlog. Okay, let's, I don't know, what's like a cheesy vloggy thing to do? Time lapse. got a, a proper looking vlogging rig. Yes, the Canon SL2 comes with a kit lens. A kit lens is like fine at lots of things, but it's not like great at anything. And so by adding these two other lenses, we can do all sorts of wild, amazing, and wonderful things, which I will not show you here. Let's, let's, let's go. Okay, let's, let's grab this and let's, let's go. Now, there are a number of reasons why I love this camera. And let's talk about maybe a few of them. One, it has a selfie screen, which you can't really see here, but what it allowed me to do was to frame up my shot, make sure that it was straight, make sure that there was no like giant tree sticking out of my head, that things were properly lined up, and that I wasn't either too bright or too dark, which can be really, really handy. So I love the selfie screen. The other thing this camera has that is kind of nice is it actually has e-stabilization. So basically it uses software and crops in a little bit on the sensor to be able to make it smoother. So when you're walking, again, this lens too has stabilization and all that together means that I can kind of walk and talk through the snow and it's not like a gigantic shaky disaster. And I think that's really nice. That's deep snow. Also, have you noticed that you can see where I am and what's going on around me because I'm using this ultra wide angle lens that comes with that creator kit. If you were just using the kit lens, this is what it would look like. Ugh, like it's just my face. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on around me, but everywhere that I go and everything that I talk about, it's like Justin's face, Justin's face, Justin's face, Justin's face, but now, Wow, you can see and feel my pain of it being March 21st, the first day of spring. It don't look like spring. Anyway, that's why I love the ultra wide angle because stories ultimately aren't just about you. They're about what you're doing, where you are and what's going on around you. And an ultra wide angle lens makes that so much nicer. <laughs> Sorry, I just need a brief reprieve from the cold. Another feature that I love about this camera is that it has the Canon dual pixel autofocus. Basically, it's a fancy technology that they can track focus essentially perfectly. So if I come right up here, I'm in focus. If I back up here, I'm in focus. No matter really whatever I want to do, even if I, like, it's tracking my face, even with my hand here, because it can detect faces and it knows, keep my face in focus. And that's important because 
it becomes really distracting in your story if the background is in focus and your face is out of focus. Focus, it's important. Burr! Let's use this rare moment of warmth here to actually set up our next segment, which is about this lens, the other lens that comes with that creator kit is a Canon 50 millimeter F1.8. And this is the lens that got me hooked actually on photography and creating things. Because this lens is basically a gigantic chunk of glass. Oh, you can see my mouth there. That lets in a ton of light, but more importantly, blurs out the background away from whatever you're focused on. If you were to look at this kit lens and look through, you would see that this is a teeny tiny little hole. And that just means that it doesn't let as much light in and it can't blur the background. And it can't let you throw the camera into small, slow motion, slow motion, and do something like, like this. <laughs> point out is it's actually a little bit breezy out here but because this has a microphone input jack I can put this Rode video micro which is not that expensive and not have like whoosh, or the rumbling over top all of my audio and ruining it it just sounds perfect really really good all right I'm just looking at the footage from earlier today and I gotta say like it looks good you guys it absolutely works and I really enjoyed vlogging with it because it just it checks pretty much all my boxes. It doesn't have 4K, but you can live without that. You don't need that for storytelling. Just it can help with some shots. But at this price point, microphone input jack, selfie screen, great autofocusing, the e stabilization works well, and you get access to like these lenses. Like these are cheap lenses. This is the cheapest 50 millimeter you can pretty much buy out there. The cheapest ultra wide angle lens. You put them together with the camera and a kit lens, you're gonna be at about mm, $1,100 US with the microphone and the stand to maybe about $1,500 Canadian. And that is wild value <coughs> to have three lenses, I'm a little bit sick, three lenses, the body, and being able to shoot, you know, slow motion at 60 frames per second, have good quality 1080p, the colors look good, the contrast was good, everything looked good, and it just made it easy. And I think that's the thing about vlogging that is really important, is that the camera just kind of disappears into the background, you're not worried about it, if it's in focus, if it's looking good, you can make sure that things look good. It just works. Low light, well, this is at ISO 6400. I turned all the lights off. I got a lamp on basically all the way down and, you know, this thing. And you know what? The footage, there's a little bit of grain to it, sure. But it's not taking away from the story. Like, you you probably didn't really notice until I mentioned that. You're like, oh, it's a little bit grainy. But who, who cares? The story is still intact. So thank you, Don's Photo, for letting me borrow this. I now have to try and return it and not just keep it. Because I've been thinking, like, Every second day for like two months, I should just get this kit. I should just get this kit. And now, oh, thank God they're closed tonight. Whew.